I'm Shinise Omara and I'm a mechanical engineer. Engineering is all about finding out how things work and then designing them to make them work better. This Brompton bike is ideal for city use and it's light and it can be folded into something portable which solves the problem of transportation and storage which can often be the downside of traditional bicycles. Today's engineering challenge is all about solving the problem of seeing around corners. We're challenging you to use these mirrors to make a periscope to solve that problem. Light always reflects away from a mirror at the same angle that it hits the mirror. This means when two mirrors are placed at 45 degree angles, they can be used to see the things that aren't in your direct line of sight. Periscopes are used in all sorts of situations to observe surroundings when the user needs to keep out of sight or danger, for example, in trenches or submarines. Hi Matt. Hey, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. And you. So, what do we have here? So here we've got all the materials we need to build a periscope. So, between mirror and cardboard, some magic happens. How does it work? So what we've got here is one we've, we've made earlier. We've got an opening here. The light goes in, bounces off the mirror, goes to this mirror, and then bounces out of the other opening. And that's really working off the principle that light travels in straight lines. Yes. Both the angles need to be exactly the same so that you can see in a straight line. So I hope you've got your angles right. Does it work? I'll have a go. Here you go. Thank you. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I wouldn't ever be able to see my hand through cardboard, but yeah. It really does work and it's based on mm. simple rules of how light travels yeah. and made of simple materials. Yes, it is. So how far could we take something like this? Well, as engineers, we try to take these simple technologies and apply them as much as possible, like we've done on the next table. Really? OK, I'm going to go visit. Thanks a lot. Hi, Sam. Hi, how are you? Good. So why have you built something like this? So, what we've done is we've taken a light source, the principle of using a mirrored surface with the aim of reflecting light, and we're using it to make a concentrator. OK, so rather than just using two mirrors, you're using a number of them? Yes, yeah, so as many as possible, ideally. Why? So, if you look at a singular light source, the light here is going absolutely everywhere. It's completely uncontrolled. Whereas what we've done is we've taken that and we're trying to control it to be used in a useful area. So you're using the mirrors to kind of focus the light beam? That's correct, yes. So if we switch it on, you can see the area that the light's being focused and concentrated onto. So that light must be bouncing around the mirrors. So these are quite often used in torches, if you take a look to your right. The inside of that is basically a great big smooth mirror. Let's see how it works. That's very focused light, and that's still working off the principle of light travelling in straight lines, isn't it? Yes, if you head over to the next table, you can see how we've taken this principle and taken it one step further. I think I shall. Thank you. Hi, Mark. Hiya. Gosh, what are you building here? It looks really intriguing. So what we've done is taken the basic principles of periscopes and mirrors and placed them inside this box in a very accurate way. If we can have the lights off, I'll show you how it works. OK. That is cool. Gosh, so a single beam of light is bouncing off all these different mirrors, and that's how periscopes work. That makes total sense. Amazing. So are you ready to build your very own periscope? We've created some useful information to help you. Just go to our website and download the challenge card. Once you've proved that your periscope really works, take a picture of it and share it with us. Get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with.